Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video here, something that's not the usual, we're doing a little tutorial because I just thought maybe why not shed some light on people who don't know how to get animated wallpapers on PC. Now it's always been a big question of mine, I never really knew how to do it, I thought it would be really hard to like understand how to do it and recently I just found out there's something super simple that you can actually get on Steam which allows you to get these animated wallpapers. I'm also going to be sharing some tips on how to actually raise the money to be able to afford this. It is only £3, so if you can already get that on Steam, this is no problem for you. I definitely recommend it. It looks really, really awesome, some of these backgrounds. As you can see, the wallpaper I'm using right now is some interactive sheep. If I actually click a sheep, you can hear it does actually make a sheep sound. I can also pick up a sheep and drag it around and throw it, which is really kind of cool. And I can also the sheep in the water but anyway guys with that said there's a bunch of awesome really cool backgrounds you can get but i'm going to show you how to do so right now now jump over to steam and in the store just search in wallpaper engine you'll see it's this one right here it's 2.99 and then what you can do is once you download it it literally takes like 10 seconds to download you'll be able to open it up so let's jump over to the wallpaper engine now okay so once you run wallpaper engine for the first time you'll see it pop up and then from now on it will be in this little thing at the bottom of the taskbar which you can drag it out so it's permanently at the taskbar what i've done down here you then click it and you can click change wallpaper and you'll see this the sort of a window pop up currently i've got three monitors if you have multiple monitors you can make it so it stretches along them all um, i recommend that for some specific ones they look really really nice obviously if you've already got a dual or triple monitor set up you'll know about that that is just really cool but yeah you've got this right here these are a bunch of some of these wallpapers come literally just standard with it then what you can do is you can search wallpapers here with discover you can type in some keywords um, and you can look at some different categories and then you have the workshop where obviously other people have created wallpapers so if i filter my search to hmm, let's have a look let's do pixel art you'll see we'll get some some really cool wallpapers here uh you got nine and cat should we see what that looks like if I click subscribe, this is how you do it. So you just click subscribe there. You go over to installed and you should see the newly subscribed one there uh, when it decides to load in. As you guys can see, that is my new wallpaper, except it's really, really loud. So if I then click change wallpaper, you'll see down in the bottom right, there's different settings. So right now I'm going to turn the volume down because that was extremely loud right there. Um, but you can see you can move it around with position. Some wallpapers are bigger than your actual screen resolution. So you can move them around. You can change playback rate. So I'm going to try and try and show you this. So if I playback rate, put that on 200%, you'll see it speeds up. You can do that for all sorts of things, and then you can make it slow down. There's a bunch of things you can uh, you can mess around with. Now, one of my favorite ones is to do a planet like Earth, because I think that's just one of the classic things that you'd imagine on a wallpaper. Just a spinning Earth, I think it looks really good. And when you're done, guys, when you've chose the wallpaper you want, just click OK. The uh, window will go away. As you can see, nothing is running. We can get rid of Steam there. Nothing is running on your taskbar. It doesn't take up literally it takes up such minimal amount of memory that it doesn't lag out any of your games i've got these on while playing games um and yeah that is literally how you get animated wallpapers hopefully guys that was in easy enough to follow you can understand how to use it it's really simple honestly once you've downloaded wallpaper engine you can just mess around with it you don't need to search up tutorials to know how to use it it's very very basic now, for anyone who is maybe struggling to get the extra money on Steam or maybe, I don't know, maybe ask for it for Christmas, maybe a £5 Steam gift card, that would be a really good idea because Christmas is just around the corner. Um, but if you don't want to do that, if you go onto Steam, there's ways to make money on your Steam wallet. If you go to your profile and go down to inventory, if you play many games on Steam, it will be a lot easier for you guys. So if you play games on Steam, you'll get these things, uh, these cards right here in your inventory. You guys might have no idea what these are even about. You may have just been playing games and earning them. I know I used to before I knew about these. And basically what you can do is you can sell these cards on the Steam Marketplace. As you can see down here, this Dead by Daylight card, if I click sell down here, we can just do it. So as you can see, the most common price here is just a simple seven to six pence. So if I make the buyer pay, uh, let's say six pence for this, I'll receive four pence. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, 
um, obviously. But if you guys have like a hundred of these just sat down, that's four pounds, maybe even more, depending on some cards that are are like silver, like foil cards, um, and they're worth more. Now it's really just look at the draw with that, but you guys might have these without knowing, and I just click OK, put it up for sale. Um, it will probably sell pretty much instantly because people are looking for these cards to fill out their badges on Steam. But if you're not worried about that, just sell them and you'll get the money in Steam. If you actually look in the top right now, I've got an extra four pence on my Steam account because it sold that quickly. So for you guys, any of you trying to make that quick three pounds, um, or maybe you already have some in, but you want to make an extra pound or two, um, obviously that is the easiest way you can do that. If you play many games on Steam, you'll have a bunch of these, trust me. But there you go, guys. That should be uh, the tutorial over. Hopefully you guys can enjoy your wallpaper. I really like these. Look at that. Just that just looks really nice to walk into your room and you just see a beautiful wallpaper it makes you really pumped and ready to start playing some games on the computer. I don't know, it just it just makes your setup look really nice and clean. But anyway guys, that is it for the video. Let me know if uh, you guys already have wallpaper engine, let me know how many people are going to use this and let me know what sort of uh, like wallpapers you're thinking of using or are already using. But that's it for the video guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.